What is happening, you guys? Jeff and I made it all the way to Savannah, Georgia, and we are here, beautiful area. We're gonna be doing a ton of flats fishing today. Yeah, that's right, you guys. Today, Christy and I, we're fishing the Savannah, Georgia, low country area, fishing this flood tide. Check it out, you guys. This tide rise and falls about, how much does the tide fall down here? Rise like eight foot? Yeah, anywhere from eight to 12 feet. That's crazy. Tide difference between low tide and high tide. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, so you guys, we're fishing a crazy tidal change today. We're here in Savannah, Georgia. We're here with our buddy. This is Captain Sean Yeckley, and he's with Tight Lines Charters. And you guys, if y'all ever come to the area, hit him up. Sean's gonna take us out today, and hopefully, we're actually gonna do a little bit of different type of fishing today. Christy and I, we, we love to fish with artificials, but today, we're gonna change it up. Live bait fishing, trout, big trout, flounder, and maybe some reds. Anything else to say? That's it, let's get to it. All right, y'all, here we go. Right now, we're just making our way out to uh, the fishing grounds. Uh, Captain Sean's gonna take us out kind of closer actually to the ocean. Uh, right here, we're kind of cruising through some of the marsh area. We're on the back side of Savannah right now. We're kind of like around the Wilmington Island area for all of you guys who are familiar with this area. But we've got Savannah up this way and then we've got Tybee Island right over here. So we're kind of right in the middle of it. It's a super cool fishery. I've been down here for vacation a lot and I'll be honest, I haven't really done much fishing in this area. Uh, we definitely like to fish like the Charleston and the low country areas. We just haven't really made it down here. So actually I just found out that this is not even low tide. Uh, it's like 9 a.m. right now, 9.30. The tide's gonna keep dropping for three hours. So it is gonna be low, low tide. So we've got Tybee Island behind us. And then Tybee Island is actually really cool if you guys haven't been here, you haven't seen it. But we have these sandbars that go out at low tide for like what, like miles, right? Yeah, this is a huge sandbar. Massive, massive sandbar. As a kid, I used to come here and we get like sand dollars and stuff out here. All right, you guys, here it is, finger mullet. That's what we're using today. Just going right through the lip, just like that. Uh, super easy rig today, what we're using. Finger mullet, dang, that is redfish, trout, flounder, candy. Looks like a half ounce uh, egg sinker. Yeah, so we've got an outgoing, outgoing tide right here. And this live bait, uh, the way you work it, we're just kind of, it's not like bouncing it or anything, you just kind of lift it up off the bottom. Or you Let it bounce. Really That's right. fish right there all right you guys first fish on feels like a flounder yep that's a nice flatty perfect in the boat that literally was like my third cast out there with some live bait little finger mullet did the trick already got a nice little guy in the boat <laughs> all right y'all fishing perfect. little tybee island first fish in the boat nice little 14 inch flatty you guys here in georgia they only have to be what you say 12, 12 inches to and keep and you can keep 15. 15. So that's crazy. A person. A person. A person. <laughs> that is no insane. Way. A person? <laughs> that's crazy. Wow. All right. Well, 14 inch right there. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go. We are doing a We're letting him go. We're, no, we're keeping him? No, we're keeping him. Okay. Thank you. High five the viewers. Boom. Right there for you guys. All right, y'all, this is like perfect flounder, trout, redfish fishing because you've got all this structure right here. That's awesome. Just all these like, uh, what do you call that? Um, driftwood. It's like a whole bunch of driftwood right here. People do pay a lot of money for all this stuff right in here. But it actually makes for excellent ambush points for our game fish trout, flounder, redfish. So we're just throwing it as close as we can up to the structure. And it's just like bass fishing. 
Yeah, so one of the big differences when you guys are using uh, live bait to artificial, when you're using artificial, as soon as you feel the bite, you set the hook. When you're using this live bait, you feel that tap, you kind of want to give them a few seconds just to swallow the fish or get it in their mouth, and then you set the hook. That's just pretty much the main difference. There's a lot of different opinions. A lot of people say like, oh, you got to sing happy birthday twice, smoke a cigarette, and you know, do something. Yeah, no, there's all this like, I know. Well, people in North Carolina will say like, open the bail and you know, count to five or, so that's pretty much it. You just wanna just kind of give it to them a little bit, and maybe like one or two seconds, and then you set the hook. There's a bite. I'm on. That's a fish. Hooked up. I felt that bite, gave him a second, and then I set the hook real nice. Let's see what we got. Feels like a flounder. All right, y'all. That's the second fish of the day. So check out those teeth. That's crazy. All right. <laughs> Fish. Dag on. All right, a little action for you guys. About time on the cork. Think it's think it's a trout. Feels like a good one. Or it's puppy drum. Here we go. Fish identification. Ooh! Oh, it's a big freaking huge trout. Get it in the net. Get it in the net, Jeff. Get it in the net. Christy. Christy. <laughs> I was just excited. I was like, that is a big trout. I was like, you, we have to get him in the boat. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are live. Here we go. Nice little trout just brought into the boat on some artificial, switched it up. We were doing some live bait. And Jeff and I, as you guys know, love to hit up a little bit of the Berkeley Gulp. So definitely did the trick right here. First cast, first fish, well, second fish for me in the boat. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's get it. Let him go. Let's give him a good release. All right, you guys. And she's off. That's how it's done. Nice job. Boom. All right, y'all. So uh, we hit the first spot and we caught three flounder, I think, two or three flounder. Christy caught a nice trout. Then the tide slacked out and then we ran out of bait. So uh, actually, this is a live bait fishing video, but we might have to go back to artificials because we're out of bait. Right now, we're actually riding past. This is the sandbar right now. Riding back into kind of the uh, coming. So we're actually like coming out from the ocean. So we're going to be going in a little bit into the inner coastal waters a little bit. But we're actually like riding past like it's the weekend and everybody's out here partying. So just wave at everybody. Hey, how you doing? Got one. Oh, two waves. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there's one. See, oh, there he is. Is that tarpon? I don't know. I'm hooked up, you guys. Nice. It looks like a tarpon. I know. No way. I'm hooked up. It hooked. Oh, broke off. I think that was a tarpon. <laughs> 